Okay, I'm just gonna make this video real quick. I've had several people ask me how to make the image renders where it looks like the the sign is cut in metal, but it's you know just a render. So I've got my path made. This is the file I want to make a render of. I'm gonna go to File, Import, pick whatever texture I'm wanting to make the path look like, which is this scratched metal texture. Open that up. It's going to be too big. So I'm going to page out. Make it a little smaller because I want to capture all the as much grain as I can in the path so it looks a little more real. Page it down. Zoom back in there. I'll size it close to my path. All right, then I'll click my path, control D, duplicate it. Then I'll select while holding shift, the texture behind my path. So they're both selected. Then I'll go to object, clip, set. It looks like the metal just went away, but what's happened is I duplicated that path. So the duplicates on top now, or the bottom paths on top. Now, if I click this top, and page it down. There's my metal texture. And the reason I duplicate it is I like to just arrow over once and up once to make it look like there's a little bit of an edge, kind of a the cut edge around the, the sign. So that's basically how I make the metal look. Then I'll go to File, Import, pick a background I like, which is just the one I've currently been using. Bring this in look at the size I usually check it in pixels when I'm doing a render so I know about what quality it's going to be I click this arrow and hold control size it up just a little that would give me a pretty good 1300 pixels wide that give me a pretty good image and I'll page that down then I'll select my path with my clipped image hold control size that down center it up on my background and basically you know it's pretty much done at that point you want to adjust your document properties so it fits your image and then what I've been doing here recently is I will just take a small oval kind of throw it down there where it looks like a shadow make it gray and yeah, it's got a stroke on it I'll get rid of the stroke and then just the fill take it down you know where it looks just a little more like a shadow maybe narrow it up there a little bit click on this with holding shift and then I'll center it so it's centered underneath my image there. Whoops, I did that wrong. Control Z. All right, select my shadow. Check, select this. It should be on last selected. That's what screwed me up. Then I'll center it. Page this down just a hair. There we go. That's basically all I do. Gives you the metal look of the sign. Got the background. The important thing on this when you you can't just file save as a PNG for some reason when you clip an image it won't save it right so you're going to want to go to um, export PNG and select page not drawing otherwise it'll just select whatever part of the drawing it wants select page and you know name it whatever you want call this built not bought and export it and then you've got your your preview picture made and that's uh that's how i've been doing that it looks pretty good when you're given a render and it you know it still doesn't give them usually good enough quality for an easy trace but 
gives the customer a good idea what they're looking at, what they're buying. So anyway, just quick video.